traveling to the Fjordland National Park, you have plenty of activities and tours to choose from. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to some of the best Tiana things to do. These include an epic Fjordland tour combo with a float plane flight, a jet boat ride, and a guided walk on the famous Kepler track. Hi, my name is Michael Nies. I'm a New Zealand travel designer. My goal is that fellow travelers get their trip of a lifetime. In this video, you'll meet some of the most experienced local New Zealand guides with in-depth knowledge. I'll also provide you some sample travel itineraries to help you plan your holiday. So let's meet with my fellow tourism mates, Ivan, Chris and Steve. <laughs> People ask me what's so special about the float plane, uh, I'm going to take a helicopter. Well what is different is a helicopter ride you can take anywhere in the world, that's easy. Uh, a float plane, we are the last remaining uh, commercial float plane operation in the South Island. Welcome to the Fjordland National Park. Not only is it New Zealand's largest national park, but it's also a World Heritage Park and it's the second largest in the world. About 2.7 million hectares, 99% of this has never been and will never be touched by human hands or feet. Over here uh, we have Calm Bay around the corner. Up behind us is um, the Irisburn Valley. This is where the Kepler Track comes out of into Lake Manapuri. Uh, the Takatemi mountain range over here, Lake Manapuri, which has been voted New Zealand's most uh, picturesque lake. There are 33 islands in here, almost all of them are forested. This is our beautiful Cessna 206. Uh, this is how we get around the Field of National Park. Over here we have uh, the Beehive, behind that we have uh, Pomona Island, New Zealand's largest freshwater island. It's also a predator free. Uh, further up here on the uh, right is the West Arm of Manapuri, and that houses the uh, power station uh, that uh, took 10 years to build the original tunnel in uh, 19, the 1960s and the second tower race in the 1980s. And to this day, it's uh, New Zealand's greatest engineering uh, achievement. So, welcome. I've been jet boating this river for the last 20, 30 years with mates fishing, drinking beer and having a lot of fun. Then when we started this business, bringing tourists down to actually see how beautiful it is and how stunning and peaceful and quiet and tranquil has been a real eye opener to us all and something I'm really enjoying to bring people to my back door and see what nature is about and what history used to be like because this is untouched. So having been a farmer all my life and still am, to hear silence and think it's special is nothing unusual for me because farming, that's what we hear. But for all our up tourists that come down here, most of them have never ever heard the silence before and find it incredible. Now I've come to enjoy the beauty of it as well and love getting to show the customers what this place is all about and what makes Lake Manapuri, Tianao, such a special place to be in. We're just getting off at Shallow Bay, one of my favourite spots there is on Lake Manapuri. We've just come out of the Waiau River, which is just around the corner over there we've just seen. Following on around, Shallow Bay walk track comes off the Kepler track, which is over there, and the Kepler track and the Motorail Hut are over behind me. As we go around, you can see the Irisburn Valley, which is where the Kepler comes down. Let me take you into the bush here and just show you one of my favourite little huts. You can see as we're going through now, this is the shallow bay hut. New Zealand's full of little huts that the Department of Conservation put in, which is a New Zealand um, government department. So anyone can come to these huts. This one here sleeps six. Some of them sleep two, some of them sleep up to 50. These ones, first in, first served. So if you arrived at this hut and you're in the first six, you get a bed. Unfortunately, if you're number seven, you sleep on the floor. Fjordland National Park 
About 3.2 million acres, mainly made up of these beech trees you can see, native birds chirping in the background, but the view here is just stunning. Not only are we sitting in one of the most beautiful lakes in the world, but something else that's pretty special is, watch this. Crystal clear, beautiful water that we let all our guests have a drink of. Try this guys. Take a look at this, right out of the lake. 99.99% pure. The other bit might be fish poo, but don't worry about that. Cheers, guys. Welcome to the heart of Fiordland National Park. This spot's so remote, you can only get it to by jet boat. Something really special about this part right here, though, is this is one of the scenes from the Lord of the Rings movie. It's actually the River Anduin in the Lord of the Rings. Well, unfortunately, that's the end of our tour. On behalf of Fiordland Jet, thank you very much for coming aboard. It's been my absolute pleasure to take you down and show you my most special favorite part of the planet and my back door. Do come again and make sure you tell all your friends about us. Have a good day. Cheers. Here we are folks, I'm just uh, going to bring you on to the swing bridge that takes us over the Waiau River and you'll see the river down below us here, beautiful river the Waiau, but this is bridge is taking us over to the uh, Kepler Track. So the Kepler Track is one of Fjordland's uh, three great walks, it's a beautiful track, it was built in uh, 1987 with the aid of machinery so it's a um, very good walking surface and you know as you can see all around us here is just pristine rainforest out there. Here we are folks, a beautiful spot here overlooking the uh, Waiau River down below us here. Yeah, here we are on the uh, Kepler Track and um, yeah, the Kepler Track, because it's so accessible from Tiano, in fact you can walk from Tiano, there's a walking track uh, about four and a half kilometres from the township that brings you to the starting point of the Kepler Track and then straight away you're into this beautiful uh, beach forest and as you can see plenty of crown ferns all around us, lots of moss all over the um, you know, lower canopy of the uh, forest floor. But yeah, on the Kepler Track there's various ways that you can um, walk it. You can do a simple one hour walk or you can do a, a multi-day walk. Up to four days is how the track was set up. It's just over 60 kilometres in distance. Uh, three huts that the walkers stay in. You've got the uh, Luxmore Hut, the Irisburn Hut and the Motorail Hut and those huts um, they accommodate up to 50 people and during the summer season they run a booking system so you've got to book yourself in to stay at the huts but yeah or day walks like what we're doing right now plenty of um, plenty of day walk um, opportunities here on the Kepler track well thanks for um, yeah viewing the show there folks I mean as you can see it's well, the scenery speaks for itself and you know like get the opportunity to come out here you won't be disappointed it's a well beautiful part not only of New Zealand but um, of the world field on National Park Kepler track so yeah look at that it speaks for itself I'm lucky to live here and I'd love you to come out and see it with your own eyes and visit the place If you find this video helpful, hit the subscribe button below, thumbs up to stay connected for more helpful New Zealand insider travel tips. Please find the sample itineraries like links in the subscription box below and see us in the next video.